Hey everybody, Thrifty Teresa here. I have been promising you a Amazon FBA update and I'm here today to deliver that promise. Um, it has been almost two months since I started my Amazon uh, journey. Uh, the month of February was my first full calendar month of being an Amazon FBA seller. Um, and there's some highs and lows and I am um, thinking a lot about what my FBA future is going to be like and it really depends on a few factors. Primarily, I need to determine if I am going to be able to ramp up my FBA inventory if I am going to be able to be one of those people who can send in boxes every single week. Because right now, since the end of January, when I started FBA, I believe I've only sent four UPS pickups for Amazon. Um, I've sent in two or three boxes each time, but they are fairly small boxes. And it's primarily because I'm thrifting for FBA. I am not doing retail arbitrage. I'm not sending in dozens and dozens of items and lots of duplicates of items. I'm mostly getting one-off little things here and there from the thrift store. So my shipments are smaller than other FBAers. And um, so my sales are smaller too. I'm still considering this a big learning curve and I am trying to learn as much as possible. Um, but I can tell Amazon is going to be a challenge for me. Uh, in the month of February, again, my first full calendar month, I sold only 25 units. And out of those 25 units, I made some decent money. I made over $300. Um, that was $300 in net sales. That's not how much money I actually got back. But anyway, so 25 units, it was $345 of Amazon money. And, um, you know, I thought that was pretty good. But I do have a pro seller account, uh, which is a $40 a month fee. Um, I should be selling 40 units per month in order to compensate for that monthly fee that Amazon is uh, giving me. So I'm not quite there yet. And at the end of February, I really questioned on whether or not I was going to keep the pro account or if I would go down and downgrade back to an individual seller account. But I went for the pro account in order to be ungated in the beauty and health categories. Um, I need to start taking advantage of that and doing a little retail arbitrage when I am able. But right now I still am just thrifting for FBA, so it has been a little bit of a challenge. Um, I am going to give you some screenshots here and show you some items that I sold this month. Anyway, let's go see what I sold on Amazon and I'll show you all my numbers and stuff like that. Okay, again, here's my numbers for the month of February. I sold 25 units. You can see this gray bar here was my first shipment in the month of January that uh, had some sales. Uh, I sold seven units in the month of January during that one week. Uh, so 25 units for the month of February isn't great, but it isn't that bad. Uh, let's look at the money numbers. Uh, $345.29. Uh, pretty good. Of course, not all of that money goes in my pocket. Um, after fees, after more fees, after shipping, etc., um, I'm probably only getting about $100, $150 out of that. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll see how the month, uh, month of March goes. Uh, let's see some of the items that I sold. Um, I chose to show you this item here. This is a sink mat. Um, I got two of these at a thrift store and I was able to sell them for $8.99. Uh, you can see somebody's selling it for a little higher. Um, I generally do not undercut people on prices. I will match the lowest price or I will go somewhere in the middle if there is somebody who's really low on price. And then there's somebody up higher. I might seat myself somewhere in the middle. Um, in this case, I sold both of mine for $8.99 each. 
other people are selling them at other prices and this is how much it is selling for today. Uh, this is a game that I had. I also sold this for $12.99. It appears to be also still going for $12.99. Um, new sealed uh, card games. Pretty good. This is a VHS tape, uh, as you can see. 16 of my 25 items in the month of February were VHS tapes. Most of those VHS tapes went from $6.99, $7.99, $8.99, uh, per disc or VHS I mean and uh, I don't price anything under $6.99 after fees and all of that nonsense I'm really not making too much per tape if I'm selling them for $6.99 so I will not go lower than that on Amazon FBA uh, Again, $6.99, $7.99, $8.99, those are a pretty good price, especially for something that I only uh, paid maybe $0.50 cents for, or they were my dad's and he probably only paid a quarter or $0.25 cents for. Uh, this Blue's Clues one is one that I picked up myself at a uh, thrift store, and I sold my Blue's Clues VHS tape for $19.99. Uh, you can see now he's going for $15.99 plus shipping. Um, I sold mine for 20 bucks. Not too bad. Uh, the next VHS tape uh, out of my father's collection here was uh, Alfred Hitchcock, Master of Suspense. I believe this is a documentary. I don't think it's an actual movie, um, a film that he made. Uh, this is another one that sold for $20. It is selling for more now, so that person is lucky to still have a copy. Uh, the highest price VHS that I sold this month was Scarlet, uh, which is supposed to be a sequel to The Gone with the Wind. I believe it was a made-for-TV movie at one point. Uh, it was a two-tape VHS set, uh, sealed in the box, all that good stuff. I sold my copy for $28.99. Not too bad for VHS. Um, just blow the dust off of it, slap an FBA label on it, stick it in a box, and send it in. So uh, I highly recommend new, sealed, old stock VHS. Um, grab that stuff. Uh, this is another example of one of the items that I sent in Amazon FBA. I had two different latch hook kits sell in the month of February. Uh, this one featured a kitten. I sold my kitten latch hook kit for $35.50. Uh, you can see here it's going for $10 less. Uh, the other latch hook kit that sold had a puppy on it, and that one also sold in the $30 range. I think I made it for $29.99. Uh, but hey, crafting kits definitely sell. And even though there's something that only has one or two people selling on it, maybe the rank isn't that great. Let's take a look at the rank. Yeah, the rank is like almost at a million in the home and kitchen. But as far as latch hook kits go, it's pretty high up. So I guess it just depends on how your um, Amazon customer is browsing. So, hey, don't think too much about rank sometimes. I, I really don't care about rank at this point. My goal is to just find these things at Amazon. Again, wipe the dust off, slap the label on it, get it in a box, and give it to the nice young man from UPS. And then, uh, amazingly, these things sell. So that's the stuff that I sold in the month of February. Uh, again, let's take a look at my numbers. I really want to increase uh, 25 items, but so far for the month of uh, March, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to make it up to my goal of 40 items, but we'll see. Uh, $345 pretty good. Again, we'll see how it goes for March. So thanks for being patient with me, everybody, with my Amazon update. I will try to update at least once a month on Amazon because I don't always include those numbers in my weekly sales report for eBay and uh, Etsy. Um, anyway, so there we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.